Yo, what's up guys, it's Darren here. I'm gonna show you how to install the practice mod for Super Mario Odyssey. Okay, so basically uh, open up your Switch, go to your homebrew menu, so hold the uh, R button on your Pro Controller. Uh, first thing you're gonna, wanna, you're gonna wanna do is go to Cos Cosmos Toolbox, then go to Reboot to Hecate, and then here in the Hecate profile, select the menu and do reboot now to go in the Hikata menu. Uh, after this, uh, you will need to undock your switch, remove the SD card, and put it inside like a, a card reader on your PC. So I'll see you. I'll see you there. So we are on the PC right now, and after inserting the SD card in your computer, you need to download these two files from the link in the description. I will leave uh, two links. So after you've downloaded the two files. Uh, just open up your file explorer, go to your your PC, then you click on the on the SD card, and you need to search for a folder named Switch. You need to open up this folder, and at this point you gotta put it on the side. Open up the, the zip file, and you should find this folder right here, IP Switch. You need to put this folder. Uh, right inside the switch folder and after you've done that you need to open up the folder create a new folder named aspa13 let me increase the size you need to create a folder named aspa13 and uh, inside this folder you want to put the aspa13.pch text inside of it and also outside of this folder uh, so you gotta put it right be inside this, but also keep it right in, in the IP switch folder directly. And after you've done that, you have successfully installed the mod. So all you gotta do is remove the SD card from your computer and go back to your Nintendo Switch. Basically, after you are in that menu again, the Hecate menu, just click on launch and then custom firmware and you should be able to boot again in RCM mode. Okay, so we're back on the Switch. So all you gotta do now is go back to, into the album by clicking the R button so you get inside the Ombre menu again. And you should find a new file called IP Switch. Uh, you need to open it up, click on toggle patch text contents and you should be seeing this menu. Reading contents from Switch slash IP Switch. After that, you click on A, uh, you click A on aspa13.pch text, and to enable the mod, you click A, A on the two files here. This refreshes the moons, so after you warp every time, they come back. Um, and this always enables the warps, so you can warp like from me there and shit. Um, so at this point, just click Y to save, and you should have the mod enabled. Uh, if you want to disable the mod, just go back to toggle patch, uh, aspa13, click both of them until they're red, and click Y. After this, the mod will be disabled. And there you go. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot to say this, but in order for the, the moons to be, to be spawned, uh, you need the fresh file for each kingdom. So you need to have zero moons um, on every file, uh, because... If you already collected the moon, that won't respawn if you warp. So you need a fresh file. That's all you need. That's the tutorial, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Tyrant18 or TYRN18. And yeah, like and subscribe if this tutorial was helpful for you. See ya.